Welcome to your lesson on parallelism. Now, the term may sound unfamiliar, but the good news is it's actually something you're used to using every day. For instance, you're probably familiar with the expression, early to bed and early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. That's parallelism and you didn't even know it. Um, let me show you what that would look like without parallelism. Early to bed and early to rise makes a man healthy, have a lot of money, and wise. It has the exact same meaning, but it is not parallel. Let's talk briefly about why. Healthy is an adjective. Have a lot of money is something called a verb phrase. That means it's a verb, the word have, followed by some other words. And then wise is an adjective again. So because we're mixing and matching parts of speech, adjectives, and verb phrases, it's not parallel, and that's not okay. Let's talk a little more about parallelism. The creators of the SAT love to use incorrect parallelism as a way of creating wrong answer choices. And you will see it most often on the improving sentences questions. And if you find incorrect parallelism, it's great because you can eliminate that answer automatically. Now, let's go deeper with this in just a moment. So in our initial example with healthy, wealthy, and wise, we were using parallelism because of the word and. But it's not just and that requires parallelism. There are other words too that indicate you need to make sure that parallelism is being used. On the minus side, there are a lot of them. On the plus side, they almost spell banana. They spell banano. So if you see both and, if you see and, if you see not only but also, if you see as well as, if you see either or, or neither nor, or if you see or, that means you're going to need to check for parallelism. Just to give you an idea what that would look like, just like before I said healthy, wealthy, and wise, so the three pieces here needed to have parallelism, the same would hold true for anything here. For instance, I could say, I want both coffee and tea and coffee and tea would have to be parallel. In that case, they are, because they're both nouns. Let's see some examples of each of the banana words. First up, the B in banana, both and. Here's a sentence that's flawed because it's lacking proper parallelism. Based on sales trends, the jeweler anticipated a rise in the demand both for gold chains and platinum rings. Now what we do, first of all, is recognize that we're dealing with parallelism, and we do that by noticing both and. So then we check the two pieces being connected by both and and. The first piece is four gold chains. That's a prepositional phrase because it starts with the preposition for. Now, if you're not up on what a prepositional phrase is, check out the bonus materials because it outlines what a preposition is and what a prepositional phrase is. And you definitely want to be comfortable with that. Even if the terminology isn't tested on the SAT, the knowledge underlying it is. Anyway, this is a prepositional phrase because it starts with the preposition for. The other piece over here is just a noun phrase. A preposition and a noun don't match, but there are two ways of fixing the problem. Either both pieces can be prepositional phrases or both pieces can be nouns. Let's look at those. One revision would give us four gold chains, prepositional phrase, and four platinum rings, another prepositional phrase, problem solved. And the other revision would give us two noun phrases. Gold chains is a noun phrase. Platinum rings is a noun phrase. Again, problem solved. So that's the B in banana. We're going to work our way slowly through. 